Hi, it's Lisa. For those of you who have been following my channel for the last year or so, you'll know that I've been making videos on authority nutrition. It's just a small portion of what I've been doing on YouTube, but I've had quite a lot of comments on those videos and um, I think that they're one of the more unique kind of videos that I do. I actually like reading articles and reading scientific journals and seeing whether the dietary advice on the internet is actually true or not and whether it really is based on science because Authority Nutrition is a website that's founded by Chris Gunners, he's a medical student and now it's a team of people who are writing the articles. The website claims to be all based on science. I'm not saying that I disagree with all the articles but there's quite a few that I find a bit misleading and I've actually subscribed to their newsletter. I thought that I would make videos on the different topics that I have encountered through their website and their newsletter especially the articles where I find that there are things that are misleading and that could be potentially dangerous advice to give. And one example is a recent newsletter that I got that was called 10 replacements for wheat bread. Not everything in the article is terrible, but I'll read out a little bit of it and you'll see what I mean by how the website mixes good advice with bad advice. And it starts off with the introduction that Wheat bread for some people can be a problem because of people with gluten insensitivities and um, bread is also sometimes stripped of its fiber and nutrients. So if you can find a replacement for bread, then go ahead and try. This person who wrote the article was not Chris Gunners, it was by Ada Jana Dottia. The first thing that he recommends as a replacement to wheat bread is oopsie bread and it's one of the simplest and most popular low-carb breads. It can be made from only eggs, cream, cheese and salt. Oopsie bread is widely used as a replacement for wheat bread and is delicious as a bun for burgers or served with toppings. And I'm thinking how is all that saturated fat and cholesterol healthier than wheat bread itself? If anything, eat the wheat bread instead of the oopsie bread. The second recommendation was Ezekiel bread and that's something that I haven't tried but it seems like it's pretty healthy made with several types of sprouted grains and legumes including wheat, millet, barley, spelt, soybeans and lentils. So the grains are allowed to sprout before processing so they contain lower amounts of harmful anti-nutrients. This makes the bread much more nutritious and easily digestible. Number three was corn tortillas. Tortillas can be made with either wheat or corn. Corn are gluten-free but high in fiber, making them a great option for people who are sensitive to gluten. Fourth recommendation was rye bread. Fifth recommendation was lettuce and leafy greens. So lettuce and leafy greens are very healthy, but as a replacement for wheat bread where you still want the same amount of calories or you still want the carbs for energy, then lettuce and leafy greens aren't exactly the best replacement. I would say that Lettuce and leafy greens are great as a side dish or as something that you eat in addition to your carb source, but not as a replacement for the carbs. The sixth replacement was sweet potatoes and vegetables, and I'm fine with that. Sweet potatoes are very healthy and it's a staple of the Okinawans who live to about 100 with no disease. They're a healthy source of carbohydrates, it's a whole food plant source because there's little processing, it's still full of fiber and vitamins and minerals. This person also suggested butternut squash or sweet potato flatbread. I've never heard of that, but it sounds good. The eighth recommendation was cauliflower bread or pizza crust. To do this, an entire head of cauliflower must be grated and cooked. The cauliflower is then mixed with egg, cheese and spices before it's flattened and baked. So again, the article mixes some bad advice with the good advice. The bad advice being to mix in cheese and eggs with a healthy source of nutrients like cauliflower. The ninth replacement was eggs. They can be a protein rich substitute for bread and can be used in a variety of foods. When eating burgers, fried eggs can replace the bun. I disagree with that because eggs if you replace the bun with eggs, then eggs would become one of the more unhealthy parts of that 
dish and for most people if they're not vegan and they're eating a burger the bun is probably one of the healthier things of that dish besides the salad ingredients the tenth suggestion here is sourdough bread I'm fine with that sourdough bread is made with fermented grains and fermentation reduces the anti-nutrients in the grains which increases the availability of nutrients this makes sourdough bread more easily digestible and more nutritious than regular bread. Its take home message was that although wheat bread makes up a large part of many people's diets, it can be easily replaced with healthier and more nutritious alternatives. So I don't agree with the, all the alternatives that uh, the author gave in this article, particularly regarding adding cheese and eggs and cream into the dish instead of whole wheat bread I think that the whole wheat bread would be healthier and if someone is intolerant to gluten or has celiac disease then of course they can replace the bread with other carb sources like potatoes or corn or other grains like rice those are my thoughts on that article let me know what you think and let me know also if you like these kinds of videos and if you want me to do specific topics and I look forward to hearing from you. See you in my next video. Bye.